Good morning students. So yesterday we discussed uh, about the bias outlook. So in continuations of magnetostatics, today I will explain the ampere circuit law and its applications. And after this, uh, I will explain the scalar and the vector uh, potentials. So very first the ampere circuit law. Ampere circuit law. This is what is the ampere circuit law? So if uh, I define the ampere circuit law, I can say uh, it is state that the line integral of the magnetic field, uh, magnetic field means uh, vector B around any closed path or circuit is equal to mu0 i, mu0 is permittivity and i is the current flowing through this uh, conductor. So uh, I am writing the expression, so the uh, ampere circuit law will be defined by this expression b dot dl is equals to mu zero i now this is important is i uh, say that this is applicable for the closed circuit so here i write the closed path or circuit so this symbol is for the close so for any closed circuit the corresponding magnetic field is b then this equation will be equal to mu zero i where i is the current in this closed circuit suppose this is the closed circuit so this i represents the current in this closed circuit so this is the ampere circuit law b is the vector vector so by using this ampere circuit law we can uh, able to find out the value of magnetic field uh, b one more thing we already know that uh, there is one relation which is B is equals to mu zero h. Yesterday I already uh, explained this one. So B is equals to mu zero h. So if I write in terms of a h, so simply this will be the mu zero h dl is equals to mu zero i. So mu to mu cancel out, the permittivity will be cancel out. So we can write in terms of h as well as the terms of a b right so now i will write right so let's let's this is a closed circuit or uh, the current in this conductor is i so surrounding uh, the magnetic field will be given by this one b dot d i equals to mu zero i ok so now we derive the ampere circuit law using Maxwell's equations so we know that h for the second law of the magnetostatics or Maxwell equations so I am writing h per h per second law of of magnetostatics takes we know that this is del cross b t equals to mu zero j del cross b is equals to mu zero j the curl of b is equals to the mu zero j where where mu zero is the permittivity and the j is the current density. Current density. This is the current density, or I can write j equals to i by a. Current density means i by a. So this is our relation. The curl of b is equals to mu zero j. Right. So now. I convert, I take the integral in the both the sides, so the integral form, the integral form, form of equation, let's, this is the one, so now I am writing the integral form of this equation, so this will be del cross b, I am taking the surface integral in the both the sides, surface left side and the surface integral in the right side so this will be mu zero surface integral the current density 
it's a unit vector en this is the unit vector en so this is the surface that integral right equation number second okay so now i apply the stock law in this equations so stock law basically convert the surface integral into the line integral this is the conversion between the surface integral into the line integration so i am writing by using stocks law stocks theorem or law this surface integral left hand side del cross b del cross b ds del cross b with a uh, unit vector en ds is equals to mu 0 j r en cap ds is equals to now this part this part is converted into the line integral surface integral is converted into the line integral so this will be equals to b dot dn this surface integral converted into the line integral so i can write b dot dn therefore b dot dn b dot dn this part is equals to mu 0 i this is equals to mu 0 i so integral b dot dn is equals to mu 0 i which is our ampere circuit law so we start from this second maxwell second equations and we take a integral in both the sides and we convert the surface integral into the line integral and finally we found that b dot d is equals to mu 0 i which is our ampere circuit law for a closed path or closed circuit right this is known as the ampere circuit law next is what are the applications of this ampere circuit law so i am writing applications of
the surrounding of this conductor, the ampere path is this close circle. This is our ampere path. The path surrounding this conductor. Now the current in this conductor is I. The conductor is along Z and the current is I. Let's the origin is O and the distance from origin to a point P. This point P is rho. The distance from this origin to point P is rho. Where we want to find out the magnetic field at point P. So our aim is to find out what is what is H at point P or sometimes I can say what is D at point P both are the same B is equals to mu zero H so what is H at point P so we consider the ampere path and as for the ampere circuit law we know that current I as per as per ampere circuit law I is equals to integral H phi A phi dot rho D phi A phi now this is the same uh, D dot DL is equals to mu zero I so if I write these equations in terms of H, so this will be H dot DL is equals to I. So if I write in terms of H, we know that B is equals to mu zero H. So I am writing mu zero H dot DL is equals to mu zero I. So mu to mu cancels. So finally we have H dot DL is equals to I. So we can write in terms of B as well as in terms of H. So I write I equals to H phi A phi dot rho D phi A phi. A phi represents the unit vector along corresponding to the azimuthal angle phi rho the radial distance D phi and corresponding unit vector A phi. So if I solve these integrations I found that H phi is outside the integral rho d phi and if we do the integrations with respect to this d phi, the d phi is very from 0 to 360 degree, from 0 to 360 degree. So the value will be 2 pi. So this will be H phi multiply 2 pi rho this will be rho multiply 2 pi if we do the integrations so the value of this integral d phi will be 2 pi so this is h phi 2 pi rho is equals to i so i can write h is equals to i on 2 pi rho along the a phi unit factors. So this is the value of magnetic field uh, in uh, a conductor along the z-axis. Right. Now the next application is if we have infinite log c. Next is infinite seat of current. Current. 
so let's consider consider an infinite infinite current c in the z direction in the z is equals to zero plane we consider infinite c at the point z is equals to zero so now i draw the infinite c so that this is our infinite current c at z is equals to zero so this is z axis this is y axis and this is x axis so now z is equals to zero here z is equals to zero so this is our infinite change let we draw a mpn path Therefore, H naught 
a equals to 1 by 2 ky x dot dl equals to ky b so if i just do the ky b b to b cancel so simply x dot is ky by 2 this one ky by 2 so this is the magnetic field so now i do the generalized form of this x so the generalized form of x will be in general i can write in general H is equals to 1 by 2 K cross AN. AN is corresponding unit vector. So this is the magnetic field for the infinite sinks of current. So uh, we covered the ampere circuit law and uh, the application of ampere circuit law by using the ampere circuit law we found the value of the edge for the current uh, seeds and the value is 1 by 2 k a n right next is scalar potentials and vector potential Scalar potentials, magnetic scalar potential. Right, so now uh, I will define the magnetic scalar potential so I start from the Maxwell equations so we know that we know that del cross B is equals to 0 means if B is the gradient of a scalar quantity if B is a gradient of a scalar quantity and less the quantity is f phi m I just write p is equals to gradient of the scalar quantity then del cross grade of phi m will be equals to 0 this will be only applicable this equation will be only applicable if b is written in terms of a gradient so that's why I am writing here p equals to minus grade for phi m this phi m is called this phi m is called a scalar potential this phi m is called a scalar potential so if phi m is a scalar potential so the value of del dot b will be equal to del dot grade phi m which is equals to minus which is our Laplace equation del square phi m is equals to 0 Laplace equation Laplace equations so this phi m is known as the scalar potentials so basically we start from the this equation the we know uh, from the Maxwell equation del cross b equals to 0 these conditions will be only satisfy if b is equals b is written in this form in the in the form of a grade so that's if b is del phi the value of del dot b will be this one Laplace equations this is known as the scalar potential same as the magnetic vector potential magnetic 
वेक्टर पोटेंशियल नाउ द स्केल पोटेंशियल हैज इट्स लिमिटेशंस सो वी इंट्रोड्यूस द न्यू पोटेंशियल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द वेक्टर पोटेंशियल सो राइट डाउन मैग्नेटिक स्केलर पोटेंशियल हैज इट्स लिमिटेशंस इट इज ओनली मीनिंगफुल इट इज ओनली मीनिंगफुल when uh in the space where current is zero is zero that is j equals to zero when j equals to zero the scalar potential is truly valid but when j equals to not zero the scalar potential has its limitations so we introduce the new kind of potential which is called the vector potential so let's we start again from the maxwell equations we know that del dot v equals to zero if we know that del dot v equals to zero what will be the value of v when it satisfies this condition so this we know that that if a is equals to del dot del cross a the value will be zero if i write del dot del cross a the value will be zero divergence of a curve is always zero therefore i can say if i compare from this of uh, this equation 1 and equation second i say that b is equals to del cross a which satisfy the equations and i can write del dot a is equals to zero or b is equals to del cross a and del dot a what to del cross a and del dot a is called is called vector potential which is valid for any value of current while the scalar potential is valid if current density is zero or the current is zero so this is the difference between the vector potential and a scalar potential so here i stop and in next class i will start equation of continuity thank you